Hello and welcome to St. Mary's Now, the partnership between the Enterprise Newspaper and the Forest Center TV video production program. I'm Dylan Cassani Birch. And I'm Joshua Wright. And here's the latest news from the Enterprise. The 7th District Volunteer Rescue Squad requested for the County Commissioner's permission to hold a public hearing regarding a tax increase in the area at Tuesday's meeting. They are requesting a tax increase from 1.1 cents to 3 cents on every $100 of assessed value in order to cover the increased operating expenses, equipment costs, pay for a daytime crew member, and costs to remodel the existing facility, according to Max Cauliflower, Vice President of the Department. The Rescue Squad runs an average of 700 to 800 calls a year and has 60 squad members and 25 auxiliary members with skill levels ranging from CPR certified staff to paramedics. Private schools do not receive public funding like the public school system. They do, however, receive transportation paid for by local tax dollars. The St. Mary's government continues the 80-year tradition of providing buses for the private schools in the county with 36 contractors. This weekend, Animal Planet is holding its annual Dog Bowl. The third Dog Bowl will air Saturday, February 1st at 8 p.m., featuring two senior canines from Southern Maryland. And then on Sunday, February 2nd at 3 p.m., three local puppies will take part in Puppy Bowl 16. The two teams will compete in a game of Terrier Touchdown, Puppy Penalties, and Furry Fumbles. According to the press release from Animal Planet, dogs from Last Chance Rescue in Waldorf and Trigger Faces Senior Dog Rescue in Lexington Park will be participating in this event. According to Animal Planet, over the years, 100% of the animals that have participated in Puppy Bowl and Dog Bowl have been adopted. Great Mills High School hosted this year's St. Mary's County Science and Engineering Fair this Saturday on January 25th. To my right shows a picture of Spring Ridge Middle School student Ruby Shiloh presenting her all stuck up adhesive strength test project that was displayed at the fair. This next picture shows Landon West, a student of the Dr. James A. Forrest Curing Technology Center, setting up his smart hoodie, a hoodie that has the ability to charge devices. Lastly, the picture presented is Mary Kate Nepany, a Spring Ridge Middle School student standing with her Finding Microplastics project. Now coming to sports, as January nears a close. The basketball teams at St. Mary's College of Southern Maryland hosted Southern Virginia in the Capital Athletic Conference doubleheader on Saturday. The two programs each feature a handful of former Southern Maryland Athletic Conference athletes. St. Mary's senior Northern High School graduate Gina Seifert and junior Chopticon High School graduate Kiara Priest led the Seahawks in scoring with 18 and 16 points respectively. Seahawks freshman Stephanie Howell played a game high 36 minutes and scored 9 points. The women are stated to host the Christopher Newport at 6 tonight. On Friday night, in the hallway outside of the visiting locker room at Leonardtown High School, Great Mills head boys basketball coach Jeff Burrow could not wipe the smile off of his face as the Hornets are beginning to find their form and avenge a prior loss to Leonardtown with a 77-58 win in Friday's Southern Maryland Athletic Conference Chesapeake Division battle. Head coach Burrow said, They work hard and we expected them to compete. But coming into this year, I did not know how it was going to be. When working with a young team, it wasn't sure if they would mature fast or slow, but I always believed in them. Clearly, Burrell's belief in his players has started to translate into wins for the program. This news brief has been provided by the Enterprise. For more details, visit smbnews.com. That's all we have for you on this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm Doug Sonny Birch. And I'm Joshua Wright. Signing off.